There you are. My name is Potable McGee. I am a zombie hunter. Woo! We come out here to the rural parts of America looking for the elusive zombie. I come here all the way from the outback and gave up hunting crocodiles. Crocodiles! To hunt the elusive zombie. If you pan out to the left and right here, you see, there is nothing civilized about this country. This is no man's land out here. If I were to get attacked, if I ever ran into a zombie out here, and I had split second to react, where well, I'm dead. Woo! Get your adrenaline going, don't it? Yeah! My name is Butterball McGee, and we're gonna get things done out here with me and my trusted Bissy. And I give him a little jolt of a sleeping juice right in the boot. And stay tuned for the most exciting zombie hunting experience you've ever seen. This is live, one time, one place only, on UndeadMelody.com. Now you're gonna see Butterball McGee, the zombie hunter. We're driving around, we're in a cornfield, right outside of a timber line, and we're looking for the elusive zombie. When we find out, we don't know what's gonna happen, but we've been told that there were zombies in this area. It's bumpy terrain out here, but luckily I got old Susie Q, my trusty blazer. What we're hoping to accomplish here is we're hoping to, to just drive one out of the bush. Oh, cracky! There's one right there. Look at it. Oh, look at it go. I think it's a female. I can't tell from here, but I think it's a female. And it doesn't want to be caught. Look at that. I gotta find a place to get out of here. Okay, I got it. Oh, I got old Bessie. We wanna get her. Crikey, already gone. To show you how elusive they are, in this one split second it took me to jump out and grab old Bessie, this thing disappeared into the woods. We gonna have to track her from here. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be that hard. Zombie droppings! Woo! Yeah, they've been here! And it's a fresh one, too. By the taste of it, they've been feasting on Native Americans and Asians. Well, we better get going. We're burning up daylight here. Let's go! Woo! We've caught them. Two of them, male and female. And it appears to me that they're in some sort of a mating ritual. This is outstanding! this happen. The last thing we need is a couple little demons running around. Oh! What happened was, is I knew I got him. I, I saw the dart hit him and it may have fallen out. So we're gonna, we, we, we got the female here and we know she's down. 
So we're gonna check on her and see if she's alive, make sure she's gonna be there for a while. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna track the mail through the bush. Oh, this just gives you that adrenaline rush. This thing, this thing pumps out about 350 cc's of a highly toxic arsenal venom out. There's no substitute for the potency of the, of the tranquilizer that I'm using here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check on her and we're gonna go catch her. So be quiet, be alert, cause there could be more around, we don't know. So here we go. Yeah, this one, this one's out cold. So we're gonna leave her here and we're gonna track the mail before he can get out into the, into the local community and do any damage out there. So we're gonna go right through the brush over here and hopefully we'll find him. Whew. He could be anywhere, but oh, I think I see him. Crocky, he's incapacitated, but he's still moving. We gotta work fast here to assure that one of us isn't bitten. The thing you always got to remember is this is the most dangerous creature on the planet. Oh, yeah. The first die hit him and came out of his back. So what we need to do is we need to go over there and make sure that, that he isn't going to get back up and try to escape. we just before we contain him I say we we piss him off a little bit we just do in my in my own personal little way but well, I caught the zombie you did it may look like I'm being firm with the lad but really he's already dead he feels no pain oh Crikey, I about lost one of my digits there. Did you see that? Holy crikey. If it wouldn't have been for the fast reflexes of my cameraman telling me that he was reaching for me, I might have had it. Oh! Look how simple he is. He's like a child. Well, enough of this. We need to put him down. That way we can safely transport him out of the brush. Give it about 10 ah, seconds. Ah. Whew, he's out. This is Buddhable McGee. We come back to you, we should have him in the truck. I tell you what, this is nothing, nothing that can be done by your average job. You have to be a professional. Professional equipment, professional crew, professional balls of steel. Woo, woo, woo. All right, during the break, what we did was we got the male secured and we put the male in the vehicle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the female here, get it in there and get them secured. You can't really tell from the camera, but we have a plexiglass enclosure in there to prevent any accidental biting or, or an escape in case one of them should come to while we're in transit. What we wanna do is we just wanna make sure that we get them out of here, get them out of circulation. I am so glad we caught him before the mating ritual were to take place. Whew, this is what it's all about. Can you feel that right there? Whew. Okay, we got our two zombies. And now we're gonna head back. That way, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I think I see something across the field. We're gonna go check it out. Hold on. We're gonna whip a dinghy. That's what we call it in the brush. Oh, crikey! That is right there. I'm gonna get my rock. 
This is outstanding. It looked to me like it was a youngin. Whew, this is outstanding. This is exciting. Let's get out there and see what we got. Well, it looks to me like we got us a, a young one, which is an unprecedented thing. So let's go over and make sure that she's safe for transport. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her vitals and I'm gonna make sure she's got, a, got some sort of a, a life function in her. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna see if it's got a pulse. Just as I thought, no pulse, cold as ice. Oh, quirky. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look her over and we're gonna get her out of here before dark. Cause I tell you, if we caught three of them today, then there's more around. And I don't wanna be out here after dark, even with old Bessie here. Oh, the eye is open. Did you see that? He's alive. He's alive. She's alive. Oh, listen to me. I'm so excited I can't even get the genders right. Woo! We're fresh out of storage room. So we're going to collect this little gal and get her back to the facility. I've done a great thing for your country and you ought to be kissing my ass. Woo! Yeah, Crocky. I feel good. Woo! From Zombie Central, UndeadMelody.com, and the zombie hunter, Butterball McGee, signing off. Woo! Quark! I'm Butterball McGee, the zombie hunter, coming to a town near you. Woo! The elusive zombie. I come here all the way from the outback and gave up hunting crocodiles. Crocodiles! To hunt the elusive zombie. If you pan out to the left and right here, you see, there is nothing civilized about this country. This is no man's land out here. If I were to get attacked, if I ever ran into a zombie out here, and I had split second to react, well, I'm dead. Woo! Get your adrenaline going, don't it? Yeah! My name is Butterball McGee, and we're gonna get things done out here with me and my trusted Bissy. And I give him a little jolt of a sleeping juice right in the boot. And stay tuned for the most exciting zoom. Oh, there you are. My name is Butterball McGee. I am a zombie hunter. Woo! We come out here to the rural parts of America looking for...